Hey, hey, hey! Good morning! What's going on? Oliver Carlin here, coming at you from my car, and I I just got out of the gym. Had a great workout today. Um, but today, what I want to talk to you about is how do you lose weight without exercise? That's the question. Here's the answer. <laughs> Alright, so how do you do it, right? How do you lose weight without exercise? Is that even possible? I know you, you're wondering that. I know it. I know you have this question. So, you know, I was um, I was in the gym the other day, right? And uh, and I was thinking about, um, well, look, this is what happened, right? So I woke up. You know, I, I get up early and I was doing my morning thing. I get in the car. Getting in the car is not so hard. Um, it's just driving, right? And I got my pre-workout right. I'm drinking my caffeine, my pre-workout. And then, you know, I get to the gym. And there's been several times where I get to the gym, right? And it wasn't this specific time, but other times before that where I'd get to the gym and um, I'd sit in my car if I hadn't downed my pre-workout. And I'd sit there and sip it like it's a good wine. <laughs> I'd sip the shit out of that pre-workout for like 30 minutes. And then I might even take a nap in the car. Seriously, and I'd be in the car for like over an hour before I ever even step foot in the gym. That's called procrastination. Why would someone procrastinate unless they didn't want to really do it, right? So anyway, I finally get in the gym, right? I'm in the gym and I'm like, shit. And yesterday was one of the worst days, right? It was leg day and I was in the gym and uh, I dread leg day. Like, that is like the one day of the week, like, I freaking can't stand it, because it just takes so much out of me, like, leg day is just exhausting, right? Anyway, I'm in there, and I'm like, God, I remember this feeling, like, oh my God, I do not want to do this, and then I sit at the machine, breathing, stretching, procrastinating, because I do not want to sit down and do this freaking leg thing, I'm just, finally you get going, and you get going, and you push through and through and it's over, right? Actually doing it, it tends to be not as bad as you think and it gets over quickly. But my God, leading up to that, like the procrastination piece, the piece where you're like, fuck, I do not want to work out. And if you think about it, who the hell wants to work out? Like it's painful. Like I go in the gym and tearing, tearing muscles is one of the most painful things you can do. It hurts and it's exhausting. It taxes the entire nervous system, especially if you're doing it right. And then cardio is definitely boring as, oh dear God, I don't do cardio. Like, I mean, I do cardio, but I don't do the traditional sense of the word cardio because that shit is boring out of your freaking mind. I will not sit on a freaking treadmill for 30 minutes going running and just going da 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 that has got to be the most boring thing ever i would never do that running is just as bad let me go run for freaking an hour da 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 no i ain't doing it i i actually do enjoy running sometimes it's kind of therapeutic but it's not something i'm going to do regularly fuck that but here's the thing right back to the original thing like I get it. If I'm overweight and I know I'm living a sedentary life and I know one of the problems of why I'm overweight is because I don't exercise or I don't do it correctly or I don't do it enough. And and so but I still want to lose weight. I you know, I have a weight problem. I want to drop the weight. I want to be healthy. I want to feel good about the way I look. I want to be able to go out in public and not feel embarrassed about the way I look. I want to go out in public and feel good. Have a sense of confidence. Man, when you have a sense of confidence about yourself and you know you look good, that shit aura radiates off of you, man. And people want to talk to you and it's a completely different feeling. You know, I want to be a role model to my kids. My kids are seeing me overweight. That's going to cause them to be overweight. I'm going to create second generation generation obesity. I'm basically putting a gun to their head because they're going to end up dying of heart disease or diabetes. 
I'm all these things that I need and I know I want to have. And I want my, you know, my wife or my husband or whatever, I want them to be attracted to me, right? I want to look good. I want to know that they feel like I look good and that they're attracted to me. These are things that I need, not want. I need them. So, but we hate exercise. So what's, what's the answer? If, if we hate exercise, but we know we need to do it, wouldn't it be great if we could just lose weight without exercise. How amazing would that be? I'm not talking some bullshit. I'm talking like legit. Lose weight without freaking exercise. That would be some cool shit. Now, you know, as I was at home, <laughs> yeah, I've been home a lot lately because I just, my wife just delivered, right? She just had a baby and I've actually taken some time off to, you know, spend time with the family and see the little baby in the beginning and help out and everything. And so my son's on summer break. He actually starts elementary school next week. Um, but anyway, he's been home. No, no like preschool or anything like that. Right. Anyway, so he's been home a lot and I was watching him. Been watching him the last few days. And the other day he was in there and he was, he was, um, he likes to watch his little cartoon YouTube stuff on the laptop he'll put that laptop like on the couch and he'll sit there on his knees on the floor and just watch the freaking thing, right? Watch the shit out of some, uh, I can't remember the name of that, that one kid that he loves to watch. Starts with an N. Anyway, not a big deal about what he's watching. But anyway, he's watching this stuff, right? But one, all of a sudden this YouTube video will come on like a, like a, it's like a music thing and this little dancing freaking gecko thing or whatever the hell it is. And he just takes off jolts, freaking runs around the room. He's dancing. Doo -doo 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 -doo. He's running, doing somersaults over the freaking, the freaking couch landing on the other side, running in circles around the place. I'm like, holy shit. Like this dude is freaking getting an insane cardio workout. And this dude is burning some freaking calories and he's just watching a freaking TV, man. <laughs> I mean, this dude, and anytime he plays, anytime he does anything, this dude is just running around like a maniac. And a lot of people are like, hey, stop running the house. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck that. That kid is freaking working out, man. Without the actual phrase of working out, that dude is legitimately working his ass off. Harder than I see people in the gym working out. And he's just fucking playing, having a good time watching his TV. Why the hell would I tell him, hey, don't run in the house. Don't do that. Fuck that. Let him run in the house. Let him do somersaults over the freaking couch. That's what you should be doing. You need to be getting off your freaking ass and stop sitting on the freaking couch. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but anyway, so... Uh, you know, I was going through a uh, sidetrack one more way just to drive the point home, right? So I was, uh, when I was in Guam, I went to the ship shape course. Um, and one of the big things that they, they tried to stress to you through this course was um, it's not exercise that you need. Now listen to this. Listen, this is very important. It's not exercise that you need it's physical activity bam physical activity what the hell is that physical activity is anything that involves movement you need to move more baby when I move you move just like that when I move you move just like that when I move, you move. Get your ass up and move. That's what you need to do. Now, I know you're right now you're about to flip this fucker off. You're like, fuck this dude, man. He's talking about moving more. This is just another thing, another form of exercise. Listen for a second, dude. Quit freaking out about your damn exercise. I'm not talking about exercise. What I'm talking about is you need to change the way that you think. Technology is fucking you in the ass, literally bending you over 
and just screwing the hell out of you. Because that's why you're a fat bastard. Is because technology has made you that way. I'm just, I'm being straightforward with you right now. Let's be real. Let's talk real shit. That is why you are fat. And you're saying, well, how can I make that claim? Prove it. How, how is technology making me fat? I can prove it. Look at the history of America. Look at when America started having an obesity problem. Around the 19, the late 1980s, around the 1980s, right when the personal computer entered the marketplace, that is when the obesity chart went from this to ba-boom. That's your proof. Go look it up. Don't take my word for it. Go look it up. You are fat because you don't move. And computers, think about it. Prior to the 1980s, around that time, everyone was agriculture. Everything was agriculture. You were freaking, we had manual labor jobs. Everything involved movement. Computers came about, now everyone sits on their freaking ass for eight hours a day, 10 hours, 12 hours, 14 hours a day. Then they get home and they go watch TV and sit on their ass because they think they're tired mentally, but they haven't done shit all day long. So you developed this sedentary lifestyle. Now you didn't get fat just, you. it's not like you woke up fat one day, okay? You were a baby and you grew into being fat gradually, okay? It's not like you just instantly put on 50 pounds of body fat. It takes a lot of time to put on that much body fat, okay? All I'm saying is if you start moving more, not even a lot, like I'm just saying, Go cut your freaking grass. Okay, go for a walk in the evening instead of watching TV. Go freaking park further away from work. Holy shit. Every time I go to the food store, I see all these idiots trying to get that front parking spot. Like they just won a prize. Motherfucker, you won the fat prize. Because that's what's going to happen. You're going to get fat. Because you're not freaking moving. Park, you should be fighting for the fucking parking spot that's farthest away in the parking lot because you need to walk you need to move i'm not i'm not fucking around here i'm serious every time i go to the grocery store i go to the farthest fucking spot you don't believe me ask my wife she fucking hates it but i don't give a shit but guess what she's starting to park far away now too she's gotten used to it after years of freaking jamming in for doing it You need to move more, man. You need to change the way you think. Like everyone thinks they're looking for less to do instead of more ways to move. They're saying, how can technology help me to not move more? The remote control so I didn't have to get up and change the channel. Not that I was already being super sedentary watching the freaking TV. Let me make myself even more sedentary. By creating a remote control. And guess what? Everyone bought that shit. It's human nature. I'm not trying to say we're not human. I know the way we think. I'm human too. I think the same way. I want that remote control. I don't want to get up. But what I'm telling you is stop fucking thinking with your brain. Stop letting your body control what you need to do. Think with yourself what you know you need to do. And then do that. Stop listening. Oh, I'm, I'm tired. My body's tired. Fuck your body. Who's in charge? You or your body? Seriously. You need to take control of that shit and quit blaming other people. You need to move more. Go for a walk. And guess what? Gradually, over time, that little extra calorie expenditure that you're getting from moving more, you will slowly decline in weight. Instead of going up in weight and being fat, okay? Now, you may be so overweight that you need some even more than just moving a little more because as you get fatter, it gets harder. If so, go to my website. I've got plenty of ways for you to do this stuff. I've got advanced ways. I've got extreme ways. I've got a million different ways, okay? And, you know, okay, so I've told you basically that... um, 
You need to move more. Look, get a push lawn more. Don't get a, um, a self-propelled one. Bam, more calories burned. Um, park farther away. Um, take the stairs instead of the elevator. Holy shit. Dude, when I take the stairs, I literally get to the fucking floor before the idiots that were waiting in line for the elevator get there. I get there before them. And I burn calories. And I walked. I burnt, built muscle walking up the stairs. Stop waiting for the freaking elevator. Holy shit. I see people do that to go up one floor. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. And you wonder why you're overweight. Seriously, you, I'm not screwing with you here. This is the epidemic in America and you need to do something about it. Okay. Anyway, enough of that spiel, if you will. The only issue you're going to run into is just trying to get taking control of yourself. Um, if you need help with that, we've got support groups. We've got things in place to hold you accountable and help you through that. Because it's hard. I'm not going to sit here and just say, oh, take control of yourself and it's easy. Some people it's not. And I, I understand that. And we're here to help. So go to my website, internalizedweightloss.com. And uh, go, join our Facebook group and stuff like that. Right? Um... The other issue you might have is ideas, coming up with ideas to move more. Well, guess what? I got you covered. Um, I got a free book. 102 Ways, baby. Bam! This thing looks badass, too. I'm telling you, I had a freaking artist design all the images in it, man. This thing is sweet. Anyway, all you got to do is like pay for shipping, and bam, it's free resource for you. You can have it. I'm going to try to make a small, small one. You can just flip through. Just ideas always on hand. How can I move more? How can I move more? Carry that with you in your back pocket, man, because that thing's going to be important. Um, this, this will allow you to gradually, okay, lose weight, hum healthy, get the body of your dreams. And guess what? Along the way, you're going to develop a different lifestyle. You're going you're gonna to transform into a person that's no longer sedentary and letting technology and their bodies control their actions. You'll become more self-aware and more self-confident uh, along the way. So, anyway, I hope that helps. That's how you do it. That's how you do it without exercise. I do both. I, I go to the gym because, look, I want to build muscle like a bodybuilder. I want to have a really good-looking body. But if I just wanted to lose weight and I didn't want to go to the gym, these are the things I would do. And I do these anyway. I always park far away. It's not like I don't do these. I just do more than this. But I'm saying if you do this, the bare minimum, you're going to have a huge impact on your life. All right, look, take care. If you thought this was useful, please share it and like it. And I will see you again next time. Bye.